What are the dishes What's called? What's up, America? It's 10 after 12. It's Monday. <laughs> it's time to start our home gated series with my good friend, our quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Our team captain, your barbecue dad, Jody Flanagan. <laughs> touchdown, baby. You just ran it in for a touchdown by tuning in live uh, to us here at the Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters in beautiful Evans, Georgia. This is your home gating series presented by Rec Tech, powered by Kingsford. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm Jody Flanagan, Barbecue Dad, and this is where we show you two amazing home gating recipes that you can app that you could use to knock, huh? Huh? You're home gating right out of the park. Today we're celebrating the NFL. Um, invented in 1869. That's right. Um, the first game was played in 1869. The NFL didn't come around until about 1920, and that's what we have now. Speaking of the NFL, we had a lot of injuries uh, over the weekend. Lots of injuries, Jody. I know uh, my fantasy football team has a bunch of red in it. What about yours, John? Uh, yeah, actually a couple of mine. Not too many. Not too many. <sighs> um, but uh, the NFL is the highest averaging sport producing money in the billions of dollars. I can't believe it beat soccer. Though. Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. that's crazy to me, too. Absolutely. It's got to be because of the Super Bowl and all of right. that. Speaking of Super Bowl, seven out of the top eight viewed events or shows on television were Super Bowls. Huh? Super popular. The super popular. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, we're celebrating the NFL. Shout out to all of those NFL and sports lovers. You know, home gating uh, it has turned into a thing this year. You know, we've been bombarded with multiple sports this year. We're so happy and excited uh, to be living in the sports lover's dream. But we need to get started on these recipes again. They told me, don't take, don't take longer than 10 minutes, Jody. And I'm like, what? Y'all don't want me to take longer than 10 minutes cooking these things? Um, so we sped it up for you. And uh, we're going to try to show you within two minutes, 10 minutes, two awesome dishes. Make sure you smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love. Follow me on social media, BBQ Dad, Jody. Make sure you follow Kingsford and Rec Tech and subscribe to their YouTube channels uh, because we, we've got a lot of amazing content coming out, especially for the holiday season for you guys. Okay, um, but today uh, we're burning that cherry wood, that Kingsford cherry wood pellet. Make sure you take note of that, um, but it's going to give us a good sweetness to both of these dishes. Okay, um, but I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm about ready to get started. What about you, John? Let me see. If yes. We're, see here today we're going to do the bacon wrapped pad poppers, Ooh, yeah, one of buddy. my favorites mm, to bring too. to a mine home gating too. event. Uh, and then we're also going to do smoked gridiron poutine. Ooh. The most Canadian dish for the most American uh, of sports. But That's no, um, but yeah, I, I love this poutine. It's super easy to make on the grill. And then you combine it with the gravy. You combine it mm. with the cheese. Mm. You know, mm. you're getting that deliciousness. Mm. I kind of enjoy this by myself and not ne necessarily with people because I tend to get sloppy eating it, but that's okay. <laughs> but we're going to show you uh, the gridiron smoked poutine and the jalapeno pad poppers. Basically, jalapeno poppers and poutine. Uh, let's get it going. I've, uh, we're cooking on the RT340 and RT700 today. Turn this bad boy on. Again, RT340 and RT700, both of these amazing pellet grills available at Rectech.com, R-E-C-T-E-Q. Um, but let me get my mind right. Get it right. Uh, I think we need to start with the um, poutine first, and then we'll do the jalapeno poppers. I got 10 minutes on the clock. Here we go. All right. Not, oh, oh, they already started it. Crap. Five, four, three, Hands two, one. Let's go. All right, hands are clean. All right, for our poutine, you need five rusted potatoes. Why do you use rusted potatoes? Because these potatoes are the best for this application, okay? We're essentially just going to wedge these. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy to wedge. I cut in half and then I flip over. That gives me this skin to work with. I get my first wedge out of the, both sides, right? And that skin's going to give us some good flavor. <coughs> Excuse me. You can, um, you know, skin these potatoes if you like. Me, I like that protein, son. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but, yeah, again, my fantasy football team got handled this weekend. Shout out to everybody who beat me because there was uh, there's four of y'all that beat me this weekend. Uh, John, you said you got a couple more couple players uh, for tonight's game, right? Yes, I got a couple players playing for tonight's game. I killed 
on my first league. Okay. Beat somebody by like 40 points. My second league, I have two players playing tonight, and I'm up by like 40 points. So okay. I got my fingers crossed. Hopefully you know. they don't have a quarterback and a running back playing tonight, but that's all right. Okay. All right. You know, because they could probably whoop up on you. Yeah, that's true. 40, they could catch up 40 points real quick. All that's right. true. So I cut my potatoes, and I placed them in some of this water here. What this is going to do is this is going to get some of that starch out for me. Okay, um, just give the, the potato a little bit different texture. This is called blanching. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to take out. I would say that water would be like a special teams if we were talking football. Oh, that's you know what I'm saying. The water is trying right. to it's help. That's right. It's a special teams. It yeah, helps that's right. out. That's right. That's right. Um, sits on the bench most of the game, but you know what? They out there hustling. That's right. Uh, during them special teams plays. That's right. Special teams can make or break you. On the, on the gridiron. Just like this water would. If you, right. didn't, if you didn't soak these things, it would totally break this whole dish. And football nowadays is, is not necessarily called football because of the international aspect, but it's called uh, gridiron football or That's American right. football. Right. There's got to be a name in front of it to kind of differentiate it um, from the traditional football soccer. But soccer's going on right now. Um, I've got a lot of buddies into the old Atlanta United team. They've been doing really, really well. All right, so we've let our potatoes sit in water for about an hour. We pulled them out. We dried them. Why? Because moisture is the enemy of crispy, and yeah, I want yeah. these um, poutine wedges to be absolutely crispy. So we're going to put them in a mixing bowl, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Again, don't overthink this, guys. Seven and a half minutes left, Jody. Okay, perfect. So that Kingsford cherry wood is going to give us a delicious amount of sweet smoke added to this really kind of heavy dish. I'm going to add some extra virgin olive oil to it. you got to use that at EVOO. It's a binder, okay? It's going to um, surround our wedges and allow our bins heifer dust available at rectech.com, R-E-C-T-E-Q. This is salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, paprika, parsley, um, onion. It's the good stuff. It's what you want on potatoes. It's what you want on beef. It's what you want on pork. Um, deliciousness. I like to over-season these. Why? Because they're potatoes. They're bland. They don't have a lot of flavor. And again, that char that we're going to develop cooking at the higher temps is also going to give us good flavor too. But just use that mixing bowl. This is a medium. I would suggest a large mixing bowl for five russet potatoes. Uh, you wouldn't want to use any other potatoes because they're kind of creamier and uh, a little bit softer. You need a, a good russet for this. But again, you, you see that bowl. I uh, evenly coated uh, these bad boys. And they're just going to go on our stick-resistant cooking mat, okay? And again, I've got the RT700 set at 450 degrees. These are going to take, I don't know, probably about 20 minutes. And of course, I've already got some in there. Uh, so I'm going to put these in here, and we'll come back to those in just one second after we stuff these jalapenos coming back. All right. So we got our, our delicious poutine on. It's going to take probably about 20 to 25 minutes to kind of soften up for us. Uh, you're waiting for it to be golden brown and tender so you can eat it and enjoy it, okay? The next are going to be jalapeno poppers. Man, do I love some of these jalapeno poppers. This is like, before I even started here at Rectech, this is one of my go-to dishes that I would always cook for home gating, tailgating, doing anything like that. So we take a whole jalapeno. Get on here, Sherp, so they can see us uh, doing this. I like to leave that stem on. Why? Because it looks cool. And it also gives you something uh, to hold on to. So you would say this would be your MVP, Jody, right here, this yeah, dish? Yeah, this is, this is my MVP of the team. Uh, if you didn't have this player uh, on the gridiron, your team would not, do, would not fare very well against the old opponents. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually taking the core and de-seeding these. I could take a spoon, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, start at the said top of pepper and work your way down. Five minutes. Okay, perfect. I think we got great time. And just take everything out. That's where all the heat is. Um, you don't want that in there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, uh, if you do, um, man, you got some leave, brass balls there, bro. Yeah, leave them in if, uh, leave them in if you like it hot. That stuff's hot, son. But again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We do this every Monday, celebrating home gating, celebrating sports. We're sports fanatics here at Rectech and at Kingsford. Um, so we just uh, want to show you guys how to survive without being able to go to the game. Now, they are letting some folks in, it looks like. Were they? All yeah. the games I watched, it didn't have anybody, anybody yeah, in the stands. Absolutely. There were a couple folks, uh, a couple in the outdoor stadiums. Okay. They had some.
All right, so I've got uh, some cream cheese. You can get any kind of cream cheese you like. Um, the whipped cream cheese works really, really well. The bar works good as well. Uh, I mixed in some Ron's Screaming Pig Rub, available at Rectech.com to give it a little bit of heat with that sweetness, okay? Um, and then if you want to put it in a food processor and whip it, it makes it whipped. Or you could take the whipped kind and uh, mix it in there. So we're going to take some of our cream cheese and we're just going to place it on the inside of our jalapenos, essentially filling it up, okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And guys, don't overthink it. So many folks out there try to overthink it. Just put your favorite flavors in there, and it's going to taste good, I promise you. Uh, if you don't like heat, don't put that Ron Screaming Pig rub in there. Just put something else sweet in there. You know, pepper jelly also works great to mix with cream cheese and put in here. Heck, I know some folks that actually uh, put bacon. They mix bacon pieces in with their cream cheese. You can go to your heart's desire, guys. Jody, is cream cheese the cheese, the preferred cheese for, for jalapeno me, poppers? Yeah, absolutely. For me, it is because it's got some sweetness, and it's also uh, a little bit sturdier, uh, and it holds up to those higher temps um, that you need it to hold up to. You, you want to save, you want that cheese to be in there. You want to be able to taste it. You want to be able to eat it. You want to bite into it. You don't want it all draining out. Three-minute warning. Oh, man, we're going to cut it close today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, chicken and squirrels. I promise you that one. All right, uh, smash that share button. Give me a like. Give me a love if you think I'm going to do this. We've got, help, uh, we've got our jalapeno poppers. Now we're going to lay in some delicious little smokies. That's right, little smokies. You can use the beef brand. You can use the pork brand. Heck, if you wanted to, you could put some another type of meat in here. Brisket would work good. I like doing uh, cooked shrimp. That also works really, really well. Mm, All right, yes. step number four. We're going to wrap these bad boys in bacon, okay? Make sure you get thin cut bacon. You don't want to thick stuff. You want this stuff to cook um, and all at the same time, okay? So we're going to take this bacon. Some folks like to cut it in half. Me? No, no. That's too much work cutting that bacon in half. Let's just double wrap it, okay? Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And again, you guys see I left the stem on this one. It's allowing me to hold it a little bit more sturdier. Two-minute warning. Oh, Lord. Guys, I got the, I feel the pressure today. Maybe it was because of that injury plagued week in the NFL. <laughs> um, the the, uh, the week that they made so much money because they're the highest paid sporting uh, franchise out there. Um, but we're wrapping these bad boys easy peasy. Don't overthink it. Uh, Ten minutes. I can do this in three minutes. If you gave me three minutes, I could do this. I promise <laughs> you. All right. We're going to cut it short just a little bit. Where is my mat that was sitting right here? Did I use it already? I think I did. I used it. All right, so we're going to pretend. Oh, nope, there it is. We got ourselves a stick-resistant cooking mat here. We're going to take our jalapeno poppers, and we're going to put them on there. Again, easy. Now we're just going to put a little bit of that Ron Screaming Pig right on top, give it a little bit of color, as well as a little bit of heat. And then we're going to place this in the grill. Let me get my... Oh, man, we're cutting it down to the wire, right? One Chef minute, John? one minute. Any good questions out there while I'm fumbling? They are loving this thing, Jody. Mm. They are asking. They love the cutting board. Uh, they love, they want to know what other seasonings they might, you might be able to use if you don't like heat. Oh, yeah. That Ben's Heifer Dust is absolutely amazing. The Casanova's Competition Rub is one of my go-tos for sure. Um, the Colden's Freaking Greek. The cool thing about Rectech seasonings is there's not, not a lot of ingredients, so they're super, super versatile. Where did my plates go? Oh, over here. All right, so our jalapeno peppers, they're ready. They look great. Ooh. That cream cheese is squeezing out of them. 15 seconds, Jody. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man, somebody should have given me a minute warning. Ten, nine. No. Eight, seven. Six. Five, I'm gonna do four, it. three, two, one. <laughs> beep, 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 That cook resistant, stick resistant cooking mat is hot. All right, cool. So we're gonna, I lost today, but that's okay. That's what life is all about. So our poontine, to finish it up, we're gonna put and plate are beautiful. Man, those things look great, don't they? They got good Ooh, color, look good crispiness, okay? The next thing you got to put on poutine besides fries and besides cheese 
has got to be the gravy. So I've got some pre-made gravy here. You can save your brown gravy from other dishes. You can get the packaged stuff. It does not matter. Uh, I uh, had gravy last night, so I saved a little bit of leftovers. Yeah, boy. Now what we're going to do, we're going to sprinkle just a little bit on top just to give us a good little base. Now we're going to yes. go on top with some cheese curds. That's right. Can't do poutine without cheese curds. Oh, yes, Jody. And then we're going to sprinkle more gravy on top. And to rectify this just a little bit, wow. instead of just bombarding it with a, a bunch of cheese, I'm going to take a little oh, bit of yes. Guys, show of this Jody Gouda, some love. I need Gouda to see and some bacon hearts. mixture I need to see here. Specialty he cheese I picked up today. at the my local grocery store here. Freshly shaved. That's going to make sure that it gets all melty. Man, that looks great, doesn't it? Yes, sir. And then uh, we're going to put all of these jalapeno poppers on our plate and, and uh, spread them out like the sunshine. Wow. Smash that share button, guys. Give us a like. Give us a love. If you think that you would do this for your home gating recipe, Wow. That looks amazing. Looks Jody, absolutely amazing, doesn't it? Real quick, will you go over time and temp on all this stuff? Yep, so we were booking along at 375 degrees on the jalapeno poppers. They took, they take anywhere between 20 and 25 minutes. And then we were 450 degrees on the poutine. Takes uh, about 20 to 25 minutes. Just watch it until it's golden brown and tender. Again, all everything that we did to it uh, contributed to uh, those potatoes being really, really soft, really, really crispy. Now it's time to taste it. Mm -hmm. I can find myself sitting in the corner of somebody else's house <laughs> with a plate full of this and just eating it all by myself. <sighs> I could totally see myself doing that. What about you, John? Yeah, totally. Wow. I haven't even tasted it yet, but it looks absolutely delicious. You right. smashed it, my friend. We'll try one of these little jalapenos, jalapeno poppers. Pad poppers, Jordan calls them. Oh, that's hot. Woo. Woo. Yeah, buddy. It looks delicious. Absolutely delicious. Get a little bit of heat from that screaming pig. Well, the heat from the jalapeno screaming pig mixed yes. with the sweetness of the um, cream cheese, the deliciousness, um, and then more saltiness from that little smoky. The smokiness was in there, too. But uh, you're picking up that cherry wood from Kingsford, giving it a good sweet flavor. Add to that heat. Add to that already deliciousness. And again, this couldn't have been easier, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in for our home gating segment. Again, it's a sports lover's dream right now. Get out there and enjoy it. Make 2020 the best year ever, even though we only got a couple of months left. Shout out to Kingsford. Shout out to Rectech. I'm Jody Flanagan, BBQ Dad. Follow me on all social media, BBQ Dad Jody. And uh, I think that's about it. Happy yeah. footballing, everybody. We'll see you next week on Monday. And I will see you at the Rectech. Do, do, do. Do, do, All right, do. killing these home gators. 343 do, do, people do. out there. Holy crap. What's up, Justin Keller? Time. Ronnie Set Weldon. Julie, hey, throw me that ball, girl. The sun starts going down. Live your life. I'm going to throw Pat like. clear up the mountains. Do, do, do. I threw it right over the mountains. Did y'all see that? Do, do, clear do. over the mountains. I threw